Oh, I'm Evan Smith. I teach the Mechanical Engineering Technology Program, uh, Program Coordinator, and just wanted to take a minute to show you what we do here for Mechanical Engineering Technology. It's, I look at it as a very fun program. Uh, the students really enjoy uh, working on things, getting their hands in it, taking the theory that we'll learn in class and actually bring it down to the lab and doing some of the various parts that you can get into it, such as you know, this semester and we're learning hydraulics and so we can come down hear about how the pressure is going to we're going to take that fluid flow uh, build resistance to it make pressure we can actually come in and you know learn how the machine hopefully it doesn't make too much noise but you can see that we've got a machine we can hook it up we bring in the pump and now we can take it and actually you know run the run the lever and see that we get a reaction out of it well, we can take that, and then of course there's a lot more you can do than just move one piston up back and forth, but learn all the concepts. Why does it move? Where does it go? And what gets it to run? And then, if it doesn't work like it should, how do we fix it? So anyway, this semester, is one of the, this is one of the topics. We'll do a lot more. We'll play with pumps. I'll say play because it's almost as fun as doing work. Uh, but we get to work with pumps, we'll do the me mechanical machines, uh, look at bearings, what makes uh, the machine actually roll as you need, get the power out of this side to that side, uh, be able to actually, how, does the, how do machines work, how do they function? and not only machines and don't think beyond the mechanical side but how does the theory behind them you know if you have a steam turbine what makes it move you know how do we take that steam and take it from a molecule of water if you want to look at it, that turn it into steam take that steam take the energy that you just put into making it into steam and take that energy back out and make yourself a you know something like an electrical generator just like all the uh, well, the nuclear plants actually end up doing that. They take nuclear power, make hot water, take the hot water, and make steam. And we learn how the turbines work. Here's one example of, you know, type of things we'll learn. Uh, you've got a bearing. This is out of a pump. You know, how does a pump work? Well, we've got the motor that goes on to it. The motor will drive the pump impeller. Uh, the impeller will spin the water, get it going really fast. As it comes out fast, it makes that pressure as it comes out to the resistance. And how does the thing work? You know, what do we need to do to make the bearings continue to rotate, continue to function? And how do we make the pump so it actually stays intact and does what it's supposed to do and be able to troubleshoot what's happening when it doesn't work like it should? Many other uh, courses, a lot of different uh, concepts we get to discuss and learn about and so you can go out and actually have the technical knowledge to work at almost any industry when it gets right down to it. You could work in food processing, you could work at a chemical plant, you can even work at, um, well had several that went down and actually worked for the rocket engine plant, down, making rocket and you know, helping support that program. Uh, there's another one, he can't tell me what he's doing because it's a top secret organization. So students have a pretty wide range of opportunities when it comes right down to it because they've got a lot of hands-on skills. They've proved that they can actually do the work and the employers are looking for you. Yeah.